Okay, this is going to be part four of our flashlight tutorial, in which case we're going to be making it so we can toggle our flashlight on and off. And we're going to bind that up to the L key, so we can go ahead and go to settings, project settings, input, and add a new action mapping. Just going to call this one flashlight toggle, set it to L. Go ahead and save, and head to Visual Studio. Now we're going to go ahead and make a, well, find the new action. We can just go ahead and copy this, paste it again. We're going to go ahead and make a new function here. Call it void toggle flashlight. And something else I want to do because we're going to have to get a reference to our flashlight, which we have when we create it in here. I'm going to move our flashlight class, the include, over to the header. And set it up so it's stored inside of our header. So a flashlight, flashlight. Yeah, capital L. Alrighty, so now when we create our flashlight, it is actually going to be stored here and we can reference it at, well, pretty much get access to whatever's inside it at any time. So now I want to go ahead and make this function de or definition. So toggle flashlight, copy the name, and do it up here. And in here, when we do this, we're just going to simply pretty much do flash light. And we're going to call our function from there. So it's just going to be something, I guess we'll call it just simply toggle flashlight. Keep it simple. So we're going to make that function public so we can access it. So void toggle flashlight. very end. And all we're actually going to be doing in this case is, where's our light? Our light right here. Instead of doing, we're essentially doing the same thing, but instead of doing set light brightness, it has an option called set visibility. So for example, light Set, there it is. Set visibility, and you just pass in true or false if you want it to be visible or not. So we're going to go ahead and store the flashlight state. We already know that it's going to be on when we spawn in the flashlight. So create a new bool, bool light state. Just set that equal to true for now. And if light state, meaning it's on, we're going to run the function to turn it off. So first off, light state equals false. Now we're going to turn it off. So light set visibility false false. And then otherwise, we're going to do the exact same thing, but just the other way around. So light state equals true, and set visibility true. So we can actually see the light. So now let's go ahead and set it up so we can call our function. So flash light. What did I call it? Yeah, toggle flash light. I don't think we have to believe we no, should be fine. Alrighty. Oh, uh, change this to toggle flashlight. Sorry. 
And build again. Should be a real quick build. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Get a spawn up. And L is not doing anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and see why that is, because the light's not it like the light itself is not even on. I'm just gonna go ahead and comment comment out that call. Light should be on when it's spawned. Yes. Just spawning a bunch more flashlights and gets a lot brighter. Alright, so it has something to do with the call here. What am I missing? The light is on. That light state to false. And turn off the visibility. Otherwise set it to true and make it visible. Not entirely sure what the issue here is. Is it really? It shouldn't have ran in the first place. That would be why. <laughs> when we spawned in the flashlight, we're also toggling the light. Ah, I'm sorry about that. So, toggle flashlight, I think it was called. Let's check real quick. Er, flashlight toggle, sorry. Go ahead and build it. And now everything should be good to go. So we press E to spawn it. And L. Off. On. Just like so. Simple as that. Now in the next tutorial we should be pretty much ready to go ahead and make this multiplayer compatible. That way when a friend spawns in, actually I can just show you an example. Alright, spawn in flashlight. As you can see, you can't see the flashlight. And you can't even, well, you can't see any sort of light source coming from it either. And it's the same thing on the client. So, we'll go ahead and get that sorted out in the next video. I'll see you then.